Good morning and welcome to the show for December 13th, our final show of 2022. Today I'm joined by my reporting partner, Maggie Patterson. Thanks, Juliana. Today, Gavin Heck looks into the impact Flex is having on campus. We have highlights from the Tech Duck Skate Jam and the Winter Dance Show. Kylie Powell tagged along with some seniors for Senior Night. And we will get you caught up on the highlights from last week's sports schedule. Welcome to the show. This past Friday, a group of seniors made arrangements to visit a senior home to bring some holiday cheer and perhaps get a little advice. Despite the recent tragedy, they agreed they should still go. Kylie Powell has this story. How can you not tell my love is more than just platonic? The moment that I met you, I fell if I'm being honest. You're the most beautiful boy I've ever seen. Being around you feels like living in a dream When you come too close I feel butterflies in my stomach Every time we touch I go a little bit insane When you were with him it hurt me a little But I couldn't say a word I just want you to know I don't want to ruin what we have Cause you are my best friend And I can't lose you And I need you to hear me when I say You're the only thing that's keeping me sane So promise you'll never let go In sports, the boys' soccer team split a pair of PVL games last week, falling to center and hammering Sutter 4-1. They'll take on Marysville tonight in Marson Stadium at 6:15. The girls' soccer team made easy work of Sutter last Wednesday, 6-0, and will be on the road at Marysville tonight at 6:15, trying to stay perfect in the PVL. The girls' basketball team continues their impressive preseason as they made their way to the finals of the Folsom tournament, beating Lodi and then Franklin of Elk Grove. On Saturday, they faced Reno High with an enrollment of over 1,700 students. The Falcons found themselves trailing in the fourth quarter by four points when sophomores Kai Dietrichs and Lorla Masick both hit big buckets to wrestle the lead back. The consistent play of all tournament players, Jade and Gabby Bittner, combined with tournament MVP Macy Hyman, was the key to keeping the lead and winning the tournament. The girls are back in action on the road against Sierra Foothill League Power Whitney on Thursday. Reporter Odin Satterley spent some time with the girls basketball team, a team on a quest to be champions, and had the preseason preview. The Colfax Lady Falcons have an impressive history of winning over the past five decades, including 11 section titles, three North Cal titles, and two state titles, not to mention a litter of league titles. Head coach Rex Simpton is a part of that illustrious history and wants to add to it. I think, I think the girls um, have a lot of pride and I think they want to prove that they're just as good as the last team and so I think that um, just they kind of carry on that legacy and they um, work hard and want to be the best. 
Last season, the Falcons went 26-6 and and won the PVL with a 9-1 and record. Coach Simpton has aspirations to repeat as league champions and win the section. She feels leadership will be essential. Definitely, we rely on Gabby Bittner and Macy Hyman, um, two girls that have been in the program since fourth grade, and um, just their consistency and their knowledge, um, definitely looking to them for leadership. Hyman knows her team well and just how they will reach their goals. My expectations for my teammates are just to like um, stay positive and support each other and just yeah, continue to support each other on the court and off the court and just play through all the challenges. The team's core characteristics will be vital to overcoming challenges and Hyman and sophomore Juliet James identified a few that they think will help the team this season. I would say driven, passionate, and then just really excited for this season. Strong, uh, competitive, and um, fast. We are a pretty fast team for our size. So The season is long, and every game is important to winning titles, but every player has games that they get extra hyped for. Placer is always a really big game just because they're a really old Vic, um, rivalry. Same with Bear River. I'm excited for our games against um, Marysville especially because we lost to them last season in league, so I'm excited for that. They have a lot of good posts. Marysville returns the core of their team and handed the Falcons their only loss in league last year. Coach Simpton has marked two games that will be essential for the Falcons to reach a league and section title. Definitely, I would say Bear River, because they always give us a game and play above um, they always play great game, and I would definitely say Marysville for sure. Colfax Lady Falcons' first home game is a PVL showdown with league rival Marysville on January 11th. So mark your calendars and plan on being in the nest. Reporting for ZTV, I'm on Saturday. For camera up and editor, Will Lerner. On December 1st and 2nd, a first-time event came to the Colfax campus, the Tech Deck Skate Jam. Reporter Matisse LaBarbiere has the highlight from this unique event. The week of November 31st through December 1st, the first ever fingerboard skate competition went down. It was a highly competitive event that featured a small but enthusiastic field of seven riders. <laughs> The final day was very exciting and the finals came down to Carson Lynch and Matisse LaBarbiere. Lynch brought his A game and beat Matisse by a single point to become the first ever Tech Deck Skate Jam champion. For CTV, I'm Matisse LaBarbiere signing off. The Modern Dance Program is on the move, and on December 2nd, they took the stage for their winter performance. Kylie Powell and I caught the rehearsals and have this review. On December 2nd, the Modern Dance class took the stage for their most ambitious show in years. The class led by Mrs. Mitchum and peer teachers Cameron Pratt, Sophia Ferlando, Riley Sweezy, and Penny Lane Floyd choreographed 21 dances that showcased 32 dancers. Ms. Mitchum was particularly proud of how many dancers exceeded the participation requirement of three dances, and danced in many more. The participation rate is a testament to the enthusiasm and creative energy of this growing program. Reporting for CTV, I'm Maggie Patterson. The leadership program would like to thank all the clubs, teams, and individuals that have donated to the canned food drive. They were not able to support the drive as they would have liked, but every donation made will impact a person's life nevertheless. As a school, you donated 258 cans, and our top three programs were Engineering Arts, Link Crew, and Leadership. The Senior vs. Staff Kickball game will be rescheduled for next term. Finals are just around the corner, and Senior Amadea Sakala and Link Crew are hosting a must-attend event for freshmen and sophomores who want to go into finals with a little bit more confidence. The event, Cookies and Cram. The event will take place in the Learning Commons from the end of school until 5 p.m. tonight. 
It will feature upperclassmen, peer helpers, teachers, and group study to make sure you go into finals ready. Okay, but what about the cookie part? Fair enough. During the event, there will be free cookies and drinks, so everyone can stay fueled up to make that last push before finals. Okay, now I understand, and it sounds great. On the topic of support, we still have one more day of flex, and I'm sure everyone is strategically planning that time. Reporter Gavin Heck has been looking at Flex as a whole for the past few weeks and has this report. Flex is a well-established part of the Colfax schedule, a block of time in which students can take advantage of a variety of classes that can be academic as well as enriching. For example, you could be a dodgeball in Mr. Kovic's Flex, held in Jim A, which is where I'm standing outside of right now, or you could go to Chauffeur's for some mock UN action. In this story, we set out to find how people are using the advantages of Flex. There are many classes that offer fun enrichments and academic support for students at Colfax, and due to this, Flex can be harnessed to fit one's academic needs in multiple different ways. I see a lot of students using Flex wisely. They'll come to classes and get specific help from teachers, one-on-one -on -one connections, ask targeted questions, and really help develop and improve their understanding. Um, and I see other students using Flex, like some of my PE Flexes, to just let off stress or have a good time and relax a little bit after uh, maybe working hard in their classes. While teachers run the Flex period, students have their own opinions about it and its uses in school. My opinion on Flex is it's a really useful period when you have free time you could like go to a club or like go to other classrooms depends what you want to do this isn't the first time an intervention system has been implemented at Colfax and the predecessor did not work out too well leaving many with mixed feelings in the early days of the current version when flex was first getting pitched teachers were super nervous because years ago we had um, something called advisory and the same model was there where students could choose to go where they wanted during this little block of time. The problem with that was there was no way of knowing where students were because um, students just had kind of physical paper planners and they would write down where they were going to go and so their advisors had an idea of maybe where they'd be but there was actually no documentation of where students were during that time period. Clearly this doubt has been reassured however as many students have used Flex to improve their overall school experience. I have been able to go into my teachers rooms and you know retake tests or get help with homework assignments that's been really helpful without that i probably would have failed all of my classes at this point there are many in-school events hosted by groups and clubs around colfax like the tech deck competition that happened last week or the pumpkin carving contest these are enrichments for students who are passing all their classes and while enrichments like this are popular flex is essential for assuring everybody is getting the opportunities they need to learn Flex is really crucial in kind of supporting academics. Um, I think it helps to have students watch others use intervention appropriately, right? Signing up for classes, getting help from teachers, working together, right? Using the time to actually collaborate and work together to, to understand topics in their courses. That students appreciate that opportunity, especially like just to get ahead and get their homework done so they don't have to take it home at night or do it the next morning. Flex is an amazing way for students to pursue their dreams, further their academic prowess, and have a little bit of fun on the way. For CTV, with camera op Tyler Hinton, I'm Gavin Heck, signing off. On Wednesday, in the gym foyer, it's the Ugly Sweater Hot Chocolate Bar. Come on by and enjoy your friends, some holiday music, and hot chocolate to get yourself ready for finals on Thursday. That's all we have for you today, Colfax, but if you're looking for a bonus coverage, we have you covered. Check out reporter Vincent De Lorenzo's feature about the River Bowl on our channel. It's been our honor to share your stories for the first term. Have a great new year!